And now in our countdown to the Oscars, director Catherine Bigelow has a chance to make Hollywood history. She's just the fourth woman ever nominated for Best Director, and she would be the first ever to win the award. It's for her gripping Iraq war film, The Hurt Locker, and Chris Connolly is live in Los Angeles where he sat down with Bigelow and the film screenwriter Mark Bowl. Chris? Good morning, George. I guess out here in Hollywood, people used to think of Catherine Bigelow as a great director who had yet to make a great film. But The Hurt Locker's changed all that and put her in some pretty distinguished company. Her work on The Hurt Locker has given Catherine Bigelow a chance to become the first woman ever to win Best Director. But in the category, she's competing against her ex-husband, Avatar director Jim Cameron. We're very good friends, and I couldn't be happier for him, and I think he's happy for me as well. And, and uh, it's just extremely ironic. <laughs> I mean, he makes the first film in 12 years. I make my first one in seven years, and it's just... You couldn't have scripted it. I mean, just, you know, the odds are, are pretty astronomical. Through her career, she's beaten the odds with the boldness of her visual imagination in such movies as Strange Days and Point Break. Pull the rip card now! You first! Okay! In The Hurt Locker, the now 58-year-old Bigelow gives audiences an unsparingly real look inside a U.S. bomb squad in Iraq. Come on, guys, talk to me. Drop the phone! Rich with suspense right from the start. That opening sequence, in a way, gave the audience a learning curve for what is the situation in the Middle East. In other words, how, what do these men do on a daily basis? But also it gives you a sense of what it is to be, you know, a day in the life of a bomb tech in Baghdad circa 2004. What made you the right director for this material? Well, I don't know. That's uh, maybe a question for you. <laughs> she was the only she one. Brought, he brought she it was, to me. She was the only one interested. And it was going to take that combination of willing to make a movie about the war at a time when nobody else wanted to. Himself an Oscar nominee, screenwriter Mark Boll was embedded with bomb techs in Iraq. When was the first time you heard the phrase, the Hurt Locker? Uh, I heard it in Baghdad, actually. Put your gun down! It was a like, kind of military slang or sports slang. And I heard guys talking about it like, hey, that bomb, if it goes off, it's going to put us in the hurt locker. Dude, I can't get it off. I'm sorry, okay? You understand? I'm sorry. You hear me? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I think what's important to me is to look at the human cost. And, and however that gets interpreted, however that gets refracted, whatever your personal politics or ideology may be, you know, I think what the film does fairly even-handedly is look at the human cost on a daily basis. Like the character she's been drawn to, Bigelow too has lived a fearlessly physical life, fording rivers bareback on a horse in her youth. It was so much fun, so fabulous, pure ecstasy, <laughs> it was perfect. Didn't you once ford a stream on a horse that was up almost as high as you were? Yeah, and the horse would swim and you'd be riding bareback and you could feel the horse moving in the water, it was just fabulous. Weren't you terrified? No, not at all, are you kidding, no. <laughs> You're exhilarated. Completely. More exhilaration may await at the Oscars, as Bigelow's uncompromising vision gives her a chance to blaze a trail for women in the future. How do you feel about, inadvertently perhaps, being a role model for those women? Thrilling. Very thrilling. What's thrilling about it? I don't know. It sounds a little, sounds a little self aggrandizing, but that you can factor into, into their aspirations. You know, that I think with. Uh, a fair amount of tenacity, a little bit of luck, you too can, can uh, embark on something that means a great deal. You know, it's really, I think finally it's about the ideas and it's about the passion. And that's what um, certainly drives me personally. And Bigelow and Bowl are both especially gratified by veterans' response to the film, which definitely is an Oscar favorite right now, George. It sure is, Chris. Thanks very much. It is such a real film.